here we have a Lenovo Z50 minus 70. We're going to open up and explore the insides. Remember to put your laptop on something soft so you don't damage or scratch it when you move it around. And we're going to flip it to the back to begin. So now we're here at the back. You've got to remove the battery if you haven't removed it. Now we're going to remove this. This is the back panel, quick access panel, and it has three screws on the bottom. By removing this, three screws and removing the back cover, it gives you access to your hard drive and your RAM. screwdriver magnetic magnetic isn't really that powerful so it's not um, lifting up the screws from the hole that's a bit of an issue for me but that's basically it so now that we remove the free screws you have to slide it up and then it comes off then you can lift it up I'm just going to put it back to show you so you put it back in place then you slide it back down and make sure there's a gap there then you slide it back down and it clicks into place and now we're just going to open it up so here we have the fan CPU graphic card wireless card RAM slot 1 RAM slot 2 and your hard drive So now we're going to remove one screw to remove the DVD drive. So after you remove the screw, just drag the DVD drive out and it comes out. Now we're going to remove the hard drive. Please note the hard drive has a hard drive cage and I'm pointing out there's four screws you have to remove to remove the cage and then you push it in that direction to remove it I actually don't have the hard drive cage so here's the RAM, so you push the two sides apart then the RAM tilts up and just pull it out so there's two slots, so that means you only can have 8 gigs of RAM in each slot and that's a maximum of 16 gigs and the RAM is DDR3L L means low voltage just remember that so here our wireless card remember to remove your wireless cables antenna cables before you remove your card same with the wireless card it, you need to tilt it up like the RAM and then remove it This is an M.2 wireless card, not your normal PCIe wireless card. So now we're going to have to remove all the screws on the back cover. I'm pointing you the screws out now. There's a few different screws, so remember which screw is which. those two things that I just pointed to before they are actually the speakers and please note as well I did forget one screw while removing all the screws on the back which will show up later
So I'm just going to point out all the screws now. So there's two different types of screw, the inner one and the outer ones. The small ones are all the inner, uh, the inner ones. So here's the screw that I forgot before, that I mentioned before. It's under your Lenovo sticker, if you have one there. You also need to remove the fan. We're going to take off the fan cable first. And there's two screws, three screws you have to remove. So after you remove the screws, you just lift up the fan. So it does normally builds up here. So it does also builds up here as well. So if you want to clean it, you just clean this part and it should be fine. So there's a hole there. The reason why I point that hole out is that you need to push on that hole to remove your keyboard. That's actually the keyboard, so when you push it out, it lifts up the keyboard for you. As you can see here, now you can shove your hands underneath it and lift it up. Remember, don't just rip your keyboard out as there's cables underneath it. So here you go, you need to lift up the black tab and that will release the keyboard. Now you have to remove all the tabs. There's two tabs, one for your power button and one for your mouse. Then you, so here's your mouse font. The power one's on the other side. I forgot to remove that. And then you're gonna use your prying tool to pry around the edges. So I'm just gonna take off the screen and pry it myself. And I'll come back when I finish prying. So now that I've finished prying, I'm going to remove this that I forgot to remove before. So if you remove everything correctly, it should come off relatively easily. So here, <coughs> we need to remove these cap tabs as well. So these black things are the speakers. And this here is your speaker cable. This is your DVD card cable. We also need to remove that. The first cable we remove, that was your side USB. There's a few screws we have to remove to remove the motherboard. There's three screws. speaker now that we removed everything there's a few cables that run underneath the motherboard so you're gonna have to flip over the motherboard to remove it so here one is the LCD cable this black thing is the LCD cable it's actually a bit hard to remove
the other one is your DC jack, your power cable, where your electricity comes in from. Now that we've removed two of them, we're going to have to flip it over. And we're just going to lift it up, and it comes off. So here we go, here's our motherboard. That's the BIOS battery, CPU, graphic card, wireless slot, and those two are the RAMs, RAM slots. So there's four screws holding the CPU heatsink down, and two screws holding the graphic card. These screws actually come off. Generally for these screws they actually don't come off, but for some reason Lenovo makes them come off. So now that we've removed all the screws, the heatsink comes off relatively easy. Just lift it up a bit. Just wiggle it a bit as um it doesn't stick a bit. But this black stuff here, or the grey stuff, is thermal paste. And these black dots here are the RAM for the graphic card. We're just gonna get a tissue or get a towel and I'm gonna clean off the thermal paste as we're gonna replace it. <coughs> Every time you remove your heatsink, you need to replace your thermal paste. Don't be cheap on your thermal paste, as thermal paste is really important. You only use thermal paste basically once in your life, so and it only costs basically $10 Australian for a tube, so that isn't really much. Also, when you're removing the thermal paste, you don't actually need any special alcohols or solutions or liquids to do it. Just a paper and a bit of rubbing, or a towel and a bit of rubbing will do. So the idea is to get it as clean as possible. The top part is more important, the sides aren't that important. If you can't do it, then that's fine. It doesn't have to be 100% clean. But something like this will do. As you can see here, for the graphic card, there I still have some foam paste left on the side, which isn't important. Only the top part where it's shiny is important. The side isn't important if you haven't cleaned it properly. Don't stress too much if you haven't. I just took it off screen so it's much easier to clean. So here we go. Now it's much cleaner. There's actually numbers where you have to place a screw in. I don't know if you can see or not, but I'll just point it out to you. So here's number one. This screw you have to screw in first. The idea is to follow the numbers, so when you screw it in, it spreads out the film and paste evenly. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. If you can't see it, just watch me screw it in and just follow what screw I place in first. So here's my thermal paste, Arctic Silver 5, 
it costs around ten dollars per tube and you can use it around 15 times as I said before don't be cheap on thermal paste it's really important and it's cheap and most of, most of the time you aren't going to use it once in your life so you want to put basically half a rice grain in the center of each chip each shiny surface don't spread it out but when you put your heat sink on it will spread it out automatically so here we go you place your heat sink over the top just align it properly try not to press down on it as when you press down it it will spread out the thermal paste we want to use the screw to spread it out not you And that's it. Thanks for watching. This disassembly is relatively simple. You don't need to disassemble your whole laptop as just removing the back cover gives you access to everything a normal person should need and going further doesn't really do anything. Some people do ask if um, the keyboard can be re replaced with a backlit one and for this one is actually no. But that's basically it. Thanks for watching.